Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profitex Sessions team. I am Sanjay. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about regular expressions in MySQL. So if you go to the next tab, so the first question comes in our mind that is, what are regular expressions? So in theoretical point of view, we have some statements. A regular expression is a special string that describes a search pattern. It is a powerful tool that gives us a concise and flexible way to identify strings of text, for example like characters, words and following based on the patterns. A regular expression uses its own syntax that can be interpreted by a regular expression processor. A regular expression is widely used in almost platforms for programming languages to database including MySQL. So from these two statements or from these two paragraphs actually we understood that a regular expression is a pattern. It's a search pattern which is a powerful tool which is used to concise and flexible way to identify strings or values from database or MySQL. A regular expression has its own syntax that can be interpreted by a regular expression processor. It means that MySQL contains a regular expression processor which is used to process about regular expressions and regular expressions are basically a search pattern and regular expressions are widely used in different different programming languages. It is not based on MySQL. It is widely used in different different languages. The advantage of using regular expression is that we are not limited to search for a string based on a fixed pattern with the person sign like this is person sign and the underscore. If you have any idea about using wildcards in MySQL, so in those wildcards actually we had seen about using like operator. Inside like operator basically we have two symbols to use something a percent sign and underscore. So while learning regular expressions in MySQL, we don't worry about these symbols because we are going to search our string values or column values by a fixed pattern which uses its own syntax. We are not going to use any like operator. Right now, if you have no idea about using wildcards in MySQL, something like operator with these symbols, then please do a comment for the next video. If I got about the several comments about using wildcards, then I will make a separate video for using wildcards in MySQL. So right now, I know that you have concept of using like operator. So instead of like operator, how can we use regular expressions? We are learning about that. So the regular expressions have more meta characters to construct flexible patterns. It means that a regular expressions have its own chart on the basis of that chart actually we can prepare regular expressions pattern. The abbreviation of regular expressions is regex or reg expression. So this is the something keyword actually we are going to use in MySQL queries. So go to the next tab. So MySQL regex operator. MySQL adapts the regular expression implemented by Henry Spencer. This is the inventor actually first time it used about using regular expression patterns. MySQL allows us to match pattern right in the SQL statements by using regexp operator. Inside our MySQL queries, actually we are going to use called regular expressions by using a keyword. As we know that while using our file cards like like operator, we have to use called like keyword. So in the same way, for using our regular expressions, we have to write regex exp stands for regular expressions in mysql queries so the syntax actually we have to follow to use regular expressions something like this select uh, here we have to provide the column name or star for all from table name where this is the column name or the attribute name of the table and this is the keyword it stands for regular 
R E G and expression something E X P and this is the pattern actually we have to use in place of pattern as we know from the previous statements that regular expressions have more meta characters it means regular expressions use a chart or meta characters to construct or to develop a flexible patterns so what basically the meta characters chart for our regular expressions so if you go to the last tab, now here we have a meta character behavior chart. This is the chart actually regular expression uses to build its pattern. So let's see that what basically these symbols are and stands for. Now this is the symbol actually we need to use when matches the position at the beginning of the search string it means we want to make a pattern and we want to make a search pattern with some string values so before the starting of that string values we have to use this character so let's see that we are going to make a search value and we let's say that we have some users in our users table with the name of a with the name of b characters with the name of c and with the name of d now we want to retrieve all the name from the table which contains let's say the first two characters something as a so we have to write the query as let's say query equal to let's say select all from something all from and here we have call table name and let's say that where name and here we have to write our keyword regular expression and make a pattern so in the users table there are several users we have but we have to select those users which name starts from the first two characters should be something as a so before starting this character or the search pattern we have to write this symbol and it is on the sixth letter so we have to press shift plus six and we have to write like s a it means that the name value should be started with our first two characters something s a now this is the first regular expression where it uses about its own meta characters so back to meta characters list now in the same way this is the taller symbol where it stands for matches the position at the end of search string let's say that we have several string values where it ends with something tan let's say we have countries list and as we know that pakistan afghanistan there are several countries actually ends with the lit characters something tan so let's say that we want to select all the countries name which basically ends with the keywords or the means characters like tan so go here and the query should be something if i copy and paste and let's say that select all from the table name where let's say country name something country name and the country name must be ends with the keywords or the characters like tan so we have to write like tan and the dollar symbol now this query stands for that we are going to select all the data from our table where country name must end with three keywords like tan so back to meta characters list now this is the next pattern something dot and which matches any single character now here in bracket we have three dots it means that matches any character specified inside the square bracket now let's say that we are going to select all the name from our users table which basically starts with likely let's a b and the c so if i write query for that now let's say that we want to select all the data from our table where name basically starts with the characters like a c and d so in this bracket we need to specify the characters and this is something like this it means that our name must starts with the characters with a c and d now this is the starting and now we are getting all the values this is simplest regular expressions 
Now in the next, matches any character not specified inside the square brackets. Let's say that we are going to select all the data from our table where name should not start with the characters like A, C and D. So we need to provide AND operator inside this square bracket. So simply we need, we need to write this symbol. It means that all the names should be selected which not start with A, C and D. So back to the list. Now here we have multiple symbols to learn. Now let's see some examples of regular expressions in action by going through our MySQL database. So back to browser. Now this is the database. Inside this database right now we have two tables called users and the movies. Now inside this users table we have some entries like user1, user2, user3 and user4. So let's say that we want to select all the users or if I make some extra rows to see. So let's say that here I want to provide let's say sample user and this is 5. Again if I write let's say that 5 here. Click on go. Now we have done one more entry. Again if I copy and let's say sample user 6. To understand clearly about regular expressions actually and to add more users inside this table. Again copy. Let's say that test user and this is 7 and let's say 7. So successfully now we have several users inside this table. Now first thing first let's see about that if we want to search some users which basically starts with some specific characters. So if I open a SQL tab now let's say that we want to select all the users from this table which basically starts with the keyword like U. As we know that from this table we have four rows which basically start with the keyword called U. So go here. So either we can start with a like operator means like wildcard by, by using our symbols like percent or let's say underscore we can just go ahead with our like operator and start selecting our data. But inside this video we are not going to use any like operator we are going to use regular expressions. So instead of regular expressions we have also multiple options to select those data. But we are going to see about complete basic concepts that how can we use regular expressions in our query for flexible search. So let's say that select all from and we want something TBL users. Let's say TBL users where the name should be. So name must start with means you character. So let's say regular expression. So this is the keyword we need to write and here we have to provide a pattern. So we want that the name must start with the so if I make some zoom. So after inside this pattern we have to provide the U character. It means that the name should start with U later. So if I press Control enter now as we can see in the output screen we have only those rows which basically start U character. So again if I back to table and let's do some more changes so if I add it and let's say that this is gmail1.com I am changing the email address. So here let's say gmail.com gmail.com something we are going to change let's say that yahoo.com and again let's say that we are going to change something let's say gmail1.com and so on. Now inside this table we have some email addresses like user1 at gmail1.com gmail.com means different different domain name. So we are going to select all the values from this table which basically contains gmail.com at the end. So back to our query. So if I go inside the SQL tab, let's say that 
select all from all from something TVL users via let's say email regular expression keyword and here we have to provide the pattern so we want that the string suit and like gmail.com and with our dollar symbol it means that gmail.com must be our ending characters so if I run this query by pressing ctrl enter now inside the output as we can see that from here from the list like gmail1.com yahoo.com only we have selected all the emails which ends with gmail.com so this is all about using our regular expressions in our mysql queries so in the next video guys we are going to see about how many patterns or how many regular expressions pattern in the different different way we are going to use called the flexible search options in the mysql inside this video only we understood about the theoretical concept also we had seen about the meta characters available and all the definition sections so in the next video guys we are going to see about more flexible patterns developing using regular expressions so inside this video session guys if you have any doubt then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day